the radical home goddess is on hiatus. So guess what I'm going to talk about today? That's right, the radical home goddess. Here on our Yapo Yapo. As always, I wish you peace and blessings, family. This is IAPO, and this is IAPO YAPA. IAPO YAPA is an acronym that stands for if you aren't pissed off, you aren't paying attention. Uh, what I'm paying attention to right now is the fact that Sister Ajali, the radical home goddess, is on hiatus for a month. Uh, she made that announcement last Saturday, uh, actually before her live stream, but she also announced it during her live stream. And I know everyone who goes to her channel constantly um, misses her already. But she will be back. And she said that she may drop in periodically if something pops off, you know, that she just has to discuss. But uh, until then, it, a thought occurred to me, as it always does, because I'm constantly trying to think of solutions for our community. Because we have plenty of people who talk about the problems that we have and the difficult difficulties that we go through and there's nothing wrong with that that's that's fine because we need to always stay aware of these things but also we need uh, we need more people out here who are basically you know solution based and uh, what I'm seeing right now uh, with sister Ajali being on hiatus this is a prime opportunity for the uh, content creators to join forces basically I mean not we don't have to just we don't have to talk to each other but just to make a uh, a conscious effort to uh, during the time that she's on hiatus to um, continue to promote her to continue to promote her cause Fukushima to continue to promote her book this black and uh, promote her uh, her channel and the whole purpose for even doing this would be that if we if we get together some kind of a strategy or um, you know some way that we that when um, you have different content creators who say say Lisa Cabrera decided that she needed to take a couple weeks off or she wanted to take a one month hiatus or if Nicole from Nicole's view wanted to take some time off then what we in the community would do is continue to promote them, continue to uh, promote their content, and keep them up in front of our family until they come back. And then that way, it'll it won't be as if they, it won't be as if they never left. But but you know how human beings are. This isn't just particular to black people. This is just people. Uh, we have a tendency to uh, when we don't have someone right in front of us constantly, constantly, then we either lose interest or kind of forget they're there or, or, or drift over to something, something or someone else. And we don't want that to happen uh, in our community. We want it always with a very, with a very strong voices, always keep them up in front. Now, she has over 14,000 subscribers. I literally have 1% of the, the number of subscribers that she has. So it's kind of odd for, for me to be talking about such things. However, it's still an important thing, and I'm hoping that as content creators see this, they'll say, you know, that's a, that's a good idea. While she's gone, we can, we can just promote her until she comes back. And then if another content creator decides that they want to take a little vacation or take some time off or take a hiatus or if there's an emergency and they have to be gone that we lift them up and that we keep them up before our people especially 
those of us who have large platforms, I'm not one of them, not <laughs> yet anyway, might, I might never be, but for those who have like really large platforms, um, we want to not only promote, uh, promote this system, but also, uh, as I said before, promote each other if we decide to you know, take some time off. Another thing that I was thinking about was how great would it be if, if, uh, her, if her subscribers like increased during the time that she was gone? Not because she's gone, but because there's so much unity and promotion in the community that it makes people aware because she has enough content that we can point people to her and they can and they can like go over her content from her archives and the same thing would be true of Nicole the same thing would be true of the true of the true royal family of uh, Lisa Cabrera of Tariq and Rain it, all these all these people have all this content so even if they took a break we can uh, send new subscribers there you know, maybe people who have never heard of them. So how wonderful would it be were she to come back and then find out that she has 500,000 more subscribers or more? And the same thing for any, you know, any one of us. So that's just my idea. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep promoting her. If you want to know anything about Fukushima, which is, which is the issue of the day. I know I, my thing is reparations, but um, if, if we don't pay attention to Fukushima, reparations won't matter. So uh, we have that, and we also have uh, this black. So I did a review on this black that can be found on my channel. It can also be found on the channel of the Radical Home Goddess. So I will give you the lab, and uh, that's about all I have to say. It's not a long share. Sure do love your family. I'm about solutions. I am about solutions for our people. I'm about promoting our people because we're because we're a great people we are and uh, we can we can prove it so that's about it love you like share subscribe by all means comment and I will see you in the next video peace